Hey everyone, this is Elder Pinto, and I'm going to give you a guided tour of CryEngine 3 and its editor, Sandbox. Throughout this training series, I'll be showing you how to create a complete environment scene from start to finish, recording and describing in detail all the necessary steps to bring an environment like this we're seeing here, or any other, to life. So um, we're going to start off with, um, we, you know, with the bare basics like the CryEngine 3 build and folder structure, uh, the editor UI, we're going we're gonna to have a, a, an overview of the, the UI and uh, navigation. We're also going to be looking at how to customize the UI to, uh, to your own taste and, uh, you know, establishing a good foundation to get started on this scene we're seeing here. After that, we're going to get started with creating a brand new level with both exterior areas and interiors, everything from scratch. We're going to start with the terrain and basic layout and block out. Then we're going to be looking at how to dress your scene with vegetation and props and, um, you know, how to use some of the editor specific entities like uh, like the fog volume, water volumes, voids, decals and roads, you know, the rope entity, clouds, etc, etc. We'll, we will also cover lighting and uh, environment settings. We're going to be looking at how to use CryEngine 3 unique image-based lighting system with environment cube maps and uh, uh, deferred lighting as well. And, uh, you know, it doesn't stop there. I'm also going to... Uh, to teach you how to use this, uh, how to not only use the stock content, but I am also going to describe in detail how to create custom content from decals to roads, you know, terrain textures, particles, materials, and um, there's even a whole section on how to create a very simple game asset in 3D Studio Max from start to finish with. LODs, proxy, custom textures, materials, and uh, get it get it all in game. And of course, as I go, I will also give you, you know, a bunch of tips and tricks regarding workflow, the editor, and uh, other details that I learned throughout all these years that I've been using CryEngine. Basically, stuff that will be just impossible to do on a written tutorial or uh, or documentation. You'll see that uh, CryEngine 3, what you see is what you play functionalities, is just a pure joy to work with. Everything is real-time, uh, lighting, shadows, decals, etc. You will never need to bake light maps, calculate or render anything. What you see in the editor viewport is exactly what you'll see in pure game. In fact, to play your your level, it's just as easy as pressing Control G, uh, G shortcut. I hope you enjoyed this training series, and uh, without further ado, let's get started. 